Hey guys, good morning. Um, so today is my third day here in Beijing and also my, my last day because tonight I am heading to Hangzhou by, by train and um, I need to check out before 12 so what I'm gonna do is to explore uh, Beijing. I'm, I'm going to uh, Tiananmen Square and then Forbidden City so the good thing about here in Beijing in China is that you can explore the place uh, through subway and it's very convenient and uh, at the same time it's it's really cheap so um, I just checked the map that from this station it will take me around 12 minutes on foot heading to um, to Tiananmen Square I don't know if I pronounce it right but uh, but yeah so from from the station where I left it's actually close to my to my hostel and then I just checked the map and uh, yeah it says that this station is closer to Tiananmen Square and um, uh, Forbidden City so I'm gonna explore these places on foot and then yeah with these backpacks it's it's actually heavy but um, yeah I need to so so yeah, backpacking life. Yeah, but so far, I, I am I am enjoying my my stay here in China and exploring the the city alone. And um, if you're gonna come here, uh, just uh, book uh, a hostel or book an accommodation that is close to subway or not too far from the city center. So it's easy for you to, to move around, to, to move from one place to another. Uh, my hostel is just around two kilometers away from the center. So I have to walk like maybe around 20 minutes. And yeah, I, I kept walking since I arrived on the 23rd. Uh, except the first day, I mean, because I, I went to the hostel by, by taxi. And the rest, I was just walking around. And yeah, so far it's good. It's also a good exercise. The security here is really tight. Um, that's the subway where I went out. I supposed to wait, so it's easy for me to to go there to Tiananmen Square. But um, yeah, there are police officers here in this area, and then um, I ask if I can uh, I can enter because I don't have a card, and then he cannot really speak English well, and he said like I'm sorry I cannot speak English, but he is very nice, and he just asked my passport and I showed it to him. And yeah, all good. So now I'm gonna figure out how can I go there. So I should have go the other way, so it's easy for me to go there. Oh shoot, I cannot go back. But it's okay. I'll figure it out. Okay, so yeah. Oh, so finally, I'm able to go across this side. And as you see that, there are police. Officers everywhere, this side, even this side. So I'm, I'm heading there. Oh, it's closed. So how can I go out? Oh, so you cannot. Oh, I guess you cannot go there because this one is closed. Is that barred? All right. So for you to enter Tiananmen Square, you need to have an appointment. Um, I asked one of the police officers and he said like I need to have an appointment and I was like uh, I don't have so he said um, I need to make one and he asked me if I have WeChat he's like like no I don't have so he said okay I will help you and then he can actually speak English a bit he said like okay I will help you to make an appointment However, so he asked my, my passport. However, the appointment should be done one day before your visit to Tiananmen Square. So it should be one day in advance. 
So I was like, oh, I cannot do that because I'm leaving tonight. And he said, I can get a bicycle to explore the place and it's utterly for free. So, so I guess I'll, I'll do that instead because I cannot enter inside. And then going into the going inside the Tiamen Square is also for free, but remember to make an appointment one day before your visit. And uh, Chinese people, some Chinese people are really nice, especially these uh, police officers. They will really help you. They they will entertain you if you have questions. And um, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna explore the city by bicycle. Then it's anyway, it's for free. And then um, after this, I will go to Forbidden City. Hopefully, it's also uh, I don't have to make an appointment to visit Forbidden City. So anyway, see ya. All right, so um, I changed my mind. Uh, I'm going to Tiananmen Street because before coming here in China, I printed this one, and I saw that there is Tian Tiananmen Street here close. This area around um, 12 minutes on foot, so I'll go there and then from there I'll go to uh, Forbidden City instead. So yeah, hopefully this one works so I can maximize my time here in Beijing. So Okay, so I found it. I'm already here now. At the Tianmen Street, I guess. Oh, even here you have to to show something or stuff. So security here is really tight. So you have to show your passport, I guess, for you to to get inside. But yeah, this is yes, Tianmen Tianmen Street. But I want to take a photo with this one. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, so I am inside guys in Shanmin Street. Look at the background. Yeah, it's really nice. So, yeah, look at that. Wow, this is really cool. So, I might eat lunch here, and uh, I guess I have enough time. So, uh, I have enough time here. And um, this is actually free, so I guess if you're gonna come here in, in Beijing, um, check this, check this out. It's very close to the subway station. Oh, they have like so, so beer. Look at that. Feels like you are in Europe, eh? Look at that. And they've got street food here as well. Oh, wow. Okay, look at that. Oh, yeah, I tried this one in Taiwan. No, I tried this one in Taiwan. Okay. Well, this, this place is really cool, guys. Oh, I saw these people there. I'm, I, I'm not sure if they're vloggers or live. Are they live? Oh. Look at that. Although I wasn't able to get inside Chiamin Square, but um, I'm happy that I found this place and it's still worth it that, that, that um, I, I'm here. Mm. I guess in the evening this place is really cool. This is really nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
look at the noodles. <laughs> oh, I thought that's real. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with me as I explore this this street and uh, yeah. Wow. So if you are a solo traveler and you wanted to take uh, some photos or some pictures, I'm gonna show you the behind the scene, how I took some of my photos like this. I'm a bit hungry now, so I'm gonna look for a place to, to eat for um, for lunch. So, let's find a place here. Hopefully, I can find uh, cheap ones here because this is uh, a spot for tourists. So, I guess uh, the food here are expensive. So, and because I'm a budget traveler again. I'll find the cheap one. They have a lot of food here actually. Fado, yeah? No. I don't speak I don't speak uh, Chinese. So, yeah. He actually took me he took a photo of me while I was walking and recording. I wanted to try their food, but they don't actually put the price, so I don't know how much is it. But it looks ngon, eh? It looks delicious. This one looks like that we have in the Philippines. Uh, Ni hao, how much? This one, how much? How much? Yes, this one. How much? Tien. Oh. Five. Huh? One, five. This one, how much? One, five. Oh. Very ah, expensive, huh? Okay, um, can I try this one? One. Yeah. Uh, try to buy one. Yeah. 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 So it's 5 U1. This one is 5 U1. It's a bit expensive. But you see. Red. She is very nice, she's very friendly. This is my lunch, only five you want. <laughs> so Forbidden City is also like you need to you need to have an appointment to visit Forbidden City. So still I can uh, go there so I changed the plan. Um, I found this called Lama Temple. So from the from that station where I was last time I uh, I went to uh, Lama subway station 
and I paid for for you one so we'll see and um, right now I'm gonna explore this place so hopefully I can enter this one because uh, later I'm going to Beijing railway station and gonna wait for my trip to Hangzhou um, this place is really cool look at that So what I'm going to do here is I'll just do um, a walking tour because the place is actually nice, it's cool. So yeah, this place. 